Oh, so, so. All right, doing a small tutorial on the Jacqueline Power Juicer Express. This juicer actually broke and I fixed it. So this is why it's good to have more than one juicer, but I mean, which I do, but I was just messing around to see if I could fix it, do a little MacGyver on it, you know? If you look in the back here, there is a hole there that when an object presses against that hole inside, that little metal piece, it triggers the motor to go off, which enables the blade to start spinning. What happened in that, on the case in here, I have here, that the trash goes in, there is a long, thin plastic piece that comes from here and it comes up. What, what happened, that piece broke off. So with that long piece there that was sticking up, when you push it against here, you press against the mechanism inside that, that makes the blade goes off. Now what I did, took a pencil here with an eraser and I took the eraser off and I shaved it down a little bit. You can use like maybe a, you can use like a knife or a razor and just shave it down so it can fit into the hole. Now what you do, you just take the eraser here and push it into the hole here. And then it should push against the mechanism inside and then enables the um, motor to go off. And all you do now is just put the casing back on here. back together it should come on so without that rubber piece the motor is not going to come on. Or with the plastic piece that goes onto the casing. So I'll show you. Take the eraser out here. It disables it. I put the casing back on. You can see there's nothing there now. And plastic pieces, case is missing that thin piece that comes up from here. So put that back in there. switch nothing so without that so without the eraser it's not gonna come out or without having a an object there that enables the motor to come out so that's something you guys can try out if you have a juicer like this and you know that plastic piece breaks off the casing yeah, you can get an eraser or, I mean, I would use an eraser because it's more, you know, it's easier to find, easier to use. You know, sh just shave it down a little bit with a razor or a knife and just put it right into the hole. And just try to press against that metal piece inside until you hear it clicks. Like, click. Once it clicks off, then, then it's enabled the motor.